And 106,678. Okay, so that leaves us, ladies and gentlemen, with $1,125,088. That is the most cash on hand that we have had so far in this playthrough. Everybody, the Silver Run for Simon Old Guy Gaming. And in this episode, we are going to uh, make a bunch of money first of all and then we're going to buy some more property and we're going to get into the sheep business so that we can manufacture cloth from wool which we're going to need down the road for some of the other productions and it's going to be profitable to do that anyway okay so as you can see i have logged this entire property all the way to the last possible tree uh, that we can log. So if we take a look at the map here, um, yeah, all of this here has been completely logged out and I've got, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five full 12 meter trailers and two full six meter trailers. And then I have another big old pile of logs of 12 meter logs up there, uh, by, uh, the high lift and the skitter. Uh, probably not another full trailer load, but a decent, decent amount of, uh, of more of logs up there. I also have three or four of the IT runner log trailer loads of, uh, you know, the, the log trailer versions of these up at the lumber mill, just sitting up there because I had so much of it that <laughs> my productions couldn't take it. So I just have them. I just got more of the trailers and I just have them sitting up there. I got a big pile of, of scrap and dead wood up at the lumber mill that we're going to throw in the wood chipper up there. And uh, yeah, so we just got a lot to do. And then I also have, uh, I'm going to, we're going to do some work on uh, on creating a, a pasture at basically this, all of this land from about here over, we're going to convert to, to grassland. And this is already wild grass, but we're going <clears> to <throat> uh, plow that up and, and make it into an actual grass field. I'm not going to do that immediately, but that is the ultimate plan to do that. Now, on the other side of the um, farmer's market, we own all this property too. I'm probably going to clear this, make sure it's nice and level, and then we're going to put the sheep barn. We're going to put the spinnery. And if there's enough room, I'll put a little hay shed uh, in this little section over here for all of those productions. And then all of this can just be grass, grass field for us. Everything uh, back up in here is going to be replanted, you know, uh, as forest. Okay, so yeah, I've been a busy, busy old guy here, as you can see. And uh, we, we got a lot of money sitting in these trailers. So let's see. I think what we're going to do is let's just teleport over to you. And um, I'm not going to remove all of the stone. But... Um, I'm going to remove the stones on this side of the lake because this is going to become, like I said, a grassland. And I leased the big 10,000 liter high dump bucket there for the Volvo front loader, and that's what we'll use to pick the stones up. I think I'm just going to take and put the stones um, in a... All right, why isn't that turning on? Do I need to hook up wires to it or lines? Looks like maybe that's why it wasn't. Okay. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. I think I was saying that I, I'm not. I'm just gonna dump the stones kind of out in the tulies right now. But you know, if we get a, a large enough pile of them, it might be worth it for us to you know throw them in the back of a tipper and take them up uh, to the iron mine uh, which is where the stone crusher is so here again uh, just the stones on this side of the pond or and more specifically in the area that we're going to convert to field that's all i'm really worried about i'm not worried about the stones in the forested area because i kind of like to leave them in place they don't really cause any major issues and it just adds more flavor to the forest floor if you will 
Okay, so I'm going to go around and get all these stones busted up, and then we'll scoop them up, dump them off in the toolies, and when that's done, uh, I will meet you guys back over at the containers, and we'll go sell those, make a whole ton of money, and then we'll do the next thing after that. All right, guys, let's get the rest of these logs uh, loaded in here. And um, I don't think that's going to fill it up. And then what we'll do is we'll... Uh, the few more logs that we pull off of that little property right on the other side of the farmer's market, uh, we'll finish this trailer off with. Uh, I don't believe we need the skitter up here, so I'm just going to have the skitter drive itself back to, uh, let's see. How come it's not giving me the set destination option here? I wonder if it's because I, I have it in the reverse mode. Maybe that's what it is. Set destination. Yep, that's what it was. Okay. It just occurred to me that maybe that's what's going on with that. And then let's see. We'll just have you park. I don't know. Right over here is good enough for now, I suppose. Okay. That'll work. You know what? Well, maybe we are going to fill this container up. It's fine by me. The more I think about it now, maybe we will. That's fine. We'll just get another container. Back that up just a little bit. See if we can get a good scoop there. Yep, that filled her up. All right, fantastic. We'll take it. I think I'm just going to grab the rest of these logs and drive them back down. And uh, we'll get another container now then to get the rest of the wood off the, the little section we're going to put the productions on. That's what you call reverse loading. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. All right, cool. Okay, so we'll put that there. And let's get this land cleared next. Uh, you know what I might do here is... Might be easier just because it's such a tight spot to just cut them down with the chainsaw and then winch them over here. And I'm not going to worry with this particular container. I'm not going to worry about putting the right legs or anything in and We're just going to load it up. Um, all right. So let's go get the skitter so we can use the winch off of it. We've got so much money sitting here, though. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. We're going to have over a million dollars, guys, once I sell all this stuff. I'm probably just going to leave that timber on that little piece of land, right, at least for now. Don't see a whole lot of point in. We, I mean, we'll make a little more money if we take it down, but I think I'll just leave it. Leave it there. Okay, let's get these trees cut down and loaded up. The texture flicker sure a pain in the butt. I'm just gonna delete these trees. They're not worth messing with. I guess we can throw the little trees in. I don't know if I can get the, the saw to cut it. It just wants to delete, delete it. That's fine. Whatever. It'll cut this one. Okay. Like I said, I'm just going to throw these in here. Not worried about their length or their size or their type. Let's get them in there. Cut that one down on the road. <laughs> Whoopsie. Ooh, look at that kickback. That would have been real life. Would not have been good for me. Dangerous, dangerous work here. Little baby tree there. Little baby tree there. It'll let me cut this. Yeah. We can drag it over and throw it in the thingy. I think that's it for the trees. Now we need to get the mulcher going to clear the brush and the stumps, and then we're going to flatten, uh, flatten it out and get it ready for some productions. You know, I'm, pro I'm probably going to retexture this anyway, so I don't think I'm going to take the time to remove the brush with this because the textures will remove it. 
All right, we want to go to landscaping and leveling. And I'm going to start here and I'm going to make it level with this pavement here. Which looks to be level with the road too, which is good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, now we'll go to productions. I want to flip it around this way. But yeah, we'll put it so it's more kind of facing the road. And maybe over here a little bit more too, so it's not right in front of the telephone pole or the power line. And yeah, there we go. Okay. That looks all right. Possibly even room for an another production like the like the tailor. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not planning on doing the tailor right now, but if we did do that in the future, um, where is the tailor? Right here. Yeah, we could, we could, if we do decide to do this in the future, we could put the tailor shop here. Cool. Okay, that works. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, we're going to go into painting, and we're going to turn all of this into gravel. I like it. Okay, cool. So let's uh, hop out of here and let's do another save. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to plan for two sheep barns, but I'm only going to put one in for now. And then we can, again, we can add another one in the future should we decide to do so. So that means we're going to go into animals. We're going to pick sheep. We're going to pick this barn here. Oh, yeah, that's right. It does have the long fence in the back. Uh, right, maybe this maybe this isn't going to work over here after all. I think we're going to need to be back this way even further. Which is going to cut into our... Well, it's okay. Not a big deal, I guess. Maybe what we do is we... Put them over here. What we could do is put a sheep barn there and then in the future put one here. Um, but I'm going to resell that again. I'm just doing that for now so I have a like a footprint for it. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll probably be okay. We're still kind of close to the highway, but that's all right. Maybe actually what we do is put this one here. More like that. Okay. Now, what we'll do here is we'll take and put... We'll go to buildings, silos... We'll grab the square grass bale storage building and we'll put it right here. Maybe back a little more. Okay, I think that works. And then we're going to want a little shed over here, too, for our hay equipment. 
So let's go to buildings, sheds. Since we're not going to be here all of the time, it really should probably be an enclosed shed that we can lock. But I don't want to spend a bazillion dollars on it either. That is so expensive. $106,000 for that thing. $158,000 for the barn. These, actually, these barns are only $5,000. Well, that's kind of cool looking. Old barn. Um... That's a garage. Yeah, okay, it doesn't look like we're going to probably get something enclosed unless we went with, like, an old barn, which we could do. It's cheap. It's only five grand. Uh, where is the entrance to this thing? I think it's right, right here. I'll tell you what, let's put this down and just take a quick peek at it. I'm not sure if I want to actually do this, but just making sure it's lined up with the other stuff. Overlaps with another object. All right, let's just go take a quick look-see at that. We'll just turn all of this into grass field over here. You know, it occurred to me, though, if we're going to do that, we have to do it this month. Because this is the last month. Oh, wait a minute. Can we? Yeah. We can still plant grass in November. So we're going to have to do that before we roll into December. I kind of like the barn there right by the big elm tree. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to pick this back up and level things in here. But this could actually work. Could be our enclosed barn. It's actually a lot of space in here. And we'll keep our haying equipment in here. It's actually really larger than it needs to be for our purposes. But um, it's cheap. So I think it'll probably work. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get back into this menu. And I want to... See, now we're only getting half the price for that. So I'm going to give my money, myself, the other $2,500 back. And what we're going to need to do is level things out over here a little better. Landscaping level. Let's bring that up to about there. Okay, let's try that. Um, actually, too, that barn doesn't have a floor in it, so I think I want it to be a gravel floor. Right about there-ish. Okay. Oh, it changed it back to dirt on the inside anyway, so that's fine. Might do a little bit of smoothing of this little ridge back here now. But I think that works. I think that gets us set up for, for hay farming and for sheep. Okay, so... The actual farming of the hay and the sheeping of the sheep and the plowing of the field and all that we will do in the next episode. I want to end this episode by selling all of the lumber that we currently, our timber that we currently have. Uh, we've spent a couple hundred thousand dollars now, but um, <clears throat> I think we've set ourselves up pretty good to start manufacturing uh, fabric out of wool, which, like I said, we will need for some of the productions in the roller coaster later on. 
Okay, so yeah, let's um like I said, wrap up this episode by selling all of the wood that we currently have. So we'll start the, the convoy. And it's gonna take us a few trips to get all this over here, but by the time it's all said and done, we we still probably have a million bucks by the time it's all said and done. We're gonna be really, really close to that, if not come not there. Alright guys, we're over at the mill. Just wanted to show you that I have three trailer loads chocked full of spruce, pine, and um, well this this one has spruce, pine, and, and the scrap wood. These two just have spruce and pine in them. Uh, because what I did um, after this trailer is I started putting the scrap wood in a tipper and I've dumped all of that off over here, the scrap wood and the dead wood, uh, to throw into the chipper there. And we might actually do that too before we wrap up this episode. So yeah, we've got so much wood right now for our productions. This is going to keep us in you know good shape for quite some time before we have to even log anything more. So yeah, we're in good shape. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these sold. Fifty-three thousand on that one. Hundred and six thousand on that one. That's really good. And one hundred and six on that. Very nice. The price must be up a little bit. I think that's the most I can remember ever getting out of a 12 meter trailer. We'll take it. Okay, let's go get the next load. Forty-eight thousand for that one. Hundred six six seventy-eight for that one. And one hundred six one sixty-one for that one. Okay, that brings us up to eight hundred and fifty-eight six twenty-four, and we have more to go. if I'm going to be able to get away with this or not. Um, the container is definitely too long for this trailer, but it's also not full. So if we can, if it'll let me get it on there and down the road, we might be able to make this work. All right, it's on there. Okay, let's go make our final money of the day here. Kind of cricket too. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. It's strapped now. Probably going to be a little bit back end heavy, but as long as I don't drive too fast, we should be okay. Famous last words. Actually, I think it'll be fine. It's not riding bad at all. Normally I just hang on to this and take it to the next logging site, but we're not going to do another um, uh, mainstream logging session. <laughs> I'm not even sure what to call it. Um, we, we're gonna do. We're gonna be working on. Well, in the next episode, like I said, we're gonna work on getting. 
the field set up and the sheep and all that. And then after that, we're going to start working on our home property, which we will do some logging, but the primary purpose of that is going to be to set up our home and our, you know, so if we were just going to go buy another plot of land and start logging it like we've done so far, then I would just take this to the next, you know, plot and wait till it's full. But that's not what we're going to do. So I'm just going to sell it now. Uh, but the, the other two trailers, those are going to get us over a million for sure. And this one's just going to be a little bit of gravy on top. Let's see what we get from it. 53? Yeah, I mean, that's not bad, I guess. 106, 678. Is the train coming? And 106, 678. Okay, so that leaves us, ladies and gentlemen, with $1,125,088. That is the most cash on hand that we have had so far in this playthrough. And it's a good feeling. Um... Okay, so here's what's going to happen now. I'm going to take these trucks back to the shop. I'm going to load up the high loader and bring it back out here, and we're going to throw that scrap wood in the chipper uh, before we wrap things up in this episode. All right, guys, we are uh, back here at the sawmill, and uh, I have come to learn that once you purchase the old sawmill as we have done you can no longer use this um, this is actually I guess this is just a sell point that you can sell to the old sawmill you know sell your scrap and and chip it up but once you buy it it no longer works and I found that out the hard way because I recorded myself Throwing uh, a bunch of you know the these this wood in here, chipping it up, and it will chip it. It'll it'll make the noise. Here, I'll just show you uh, with one little piece here. But it doesn't go anywhere. And so I had chipped up I don't know about at least half of this wood, and I kept looking at the the um, capacity you know, or the inventory you know of the mill, and it wasn't going up, and I'm just scratching my head. So I. I, I looked it up and come to find out that this is not a wood chipper that you can use after you buy it. It's it's just a sell point. So even though it still chips wood, the wood just goes off into oblivion. So what that means then is that we are going to... Um, we're just going to take all, all the wood and throw it in the pond. There's not, <clears throat> not any point really in me... Um, loading it back up into yet another like IT runner trailer we have so much extra wood as it is anyway so yeah I'm just gonna throw all this stuff in the pond then and let it feed itself into the into the mill if you're in case you're curious and wondering why my loader is green it's because when I went through the forest in our last pot of land uh, with the mulcher it cut a bunch of grass and left the grass on the ground and the dirt mod, you know, if you drive in and cut fresh cra cut grass, the dirt mod will turn your vehicle green. So <laughs> that's why this is green, in case you were wondering. Uh, so anyway, yeah, um, I, I was under the impression that, you know, we could still chip this wood and it would, you know, end up over there, over yonder where, where all the wood chips go and then we could sell it, but that doesn't appear to be the case. So we are just going to throw it all in the pond here. Then we can wash off our our high lift while we're at it. <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys. Well, I think that is it for this episode. It was a good episode. We have over a million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know what? There is one thing actually I want to do before I let you go. Uh, we still have um ooh, that's on sale we do need a mower it's only seven months old um 
Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Is that the front piece of the one that does the windrowing? Because I don't want to have to windrow. I want that just to happen automatically. It saves us a step. And we don't have to make haze, so we don't need a tether. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's go here. And let's go to mowers. Yeah, it is. It's the front piece to the back piece that will do, this will do windrows automatically. Um, so I think what we're going to do, see this has a 10 meter width. That is a 12.3 meter width. This is a nicer mower here. Oh, that's right. We could do this water thing too, couldn't we? That has a 9.2 width. What's the width on this again? 10 meters. Mm. See, the problem with the doing the swather thing, though, is then I have to buy a dedicated swather machine, whereas we can... I want to buy another tractor, uh, our haying tractor, that, that we're going to keep down there. Um, so, yeah, I think what we'll do is let's just purchase this. Uh, no, you know what? We'll lease it to own. Sure, why not? We'll lease it to own, and then maybe it'll come up for sale. But we'll buy this because it's already on sale. And it's not that old either. And good. And that takes care of that. That wasn't what I was actually planning on doing, but, you know, opportunity knocks, right? Um, the other real expensive item that we're currently leasing is the skitter. And now that we have the money, I think I'm just going to buy it outright. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't return it. Purchase it. Because we've already applied some money towards it. So it's going to cost us $278,000 uh, to buy that. Um... Which isn't, you know, I mean, a lot of time, we, we haven't really had that much time go by, so that's not, actually didn't make that much difference, but that's okay. Um, so everything else that we're leasing now is not super expensive. Um, this we have sitting up at the, the steel mill, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep leasing to own this until another one comes up for, well, actually, we need one at the lumber yard, though, too. Well, I'll worry about that the next time we need one at the lumberyard. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, we're, we're leasing to own both of these. We, we need definitely need that. Uh, we just got that the mower that we're leasing to own. And uh, that brings us down to $829. Okay, so we'll figure out what tractor and what other equipment we want to use in the next episode when we work on getting the field and the place and the sheep and all that. Uh, but, you know, because that Pottinger mower, the front end of it was already on sale, I figured, well, let's just, you know, do that part right now. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. And like I said, I'm just going to put the rest of this wood in the pond. What are you doing? And then call it good. For this, next episode, we'll get our, our hay field situated. We'll buy our sheep, get all that taken care of. And then the plan after that in two episodes from now, well, depending on how long it takes, I guess, to do the other one, is that we will uh, get started on our home territory. We'll buy the land up there and make our permanent home, which I'm really excited to do. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.